With the organic lifestyle that is being embraced by health conscious people, attention is gradually being shifted to local condiments and spices. On first sight of some of them in their raw state, one can easily be put off. After undergoing several stages of processing, it becomes condiments and spices to our various menu. One of such is locust beans, called Iru in Yoruba, Dadawa in Hausa, Ogiri in Ibo, and Ugba in Edo. What exactly is locust beans? It is called Pakia biglobosa, and it is a plant that grows mainly around the savannah and also especially tropical area. We can find them in South Asia, we find them in uh, South America, especially tropical South America. And it is made of a pod, you know. Then it is the pod that they remove the seed. It is the seed inside the pod that is called locust bean. Locust bean is, uh, is a ruined Yoruba language. It's a very good condiment to use when you are cooking. Well, it's something I grew up with. My mom used it when we were young, so it just became part of my diet. Some parts of these wonder plants are also found to be medicinal for the alternative healthcare enthusiast. The bark of the plants can be used to treat wounds, and most, most of the time it is made with some other certain substance like uh, chia butter and so on to manage leprosy. It has a very effective wound healing property. And also because it contains tannin. Tannin is an estrogen. You know, estrogen is something that dries up something. Mm -hmm. So most of the time, it can be used in managing diarrhea. Local beans is very good for the health, especially, like I was told, especially for the eyes. Very rich in vitamin C, which is good for the eye. It's good for the body. When the seed is eaten raw, it provides some potent medication. The research has been done. How do our people live so long in those areas? Because with the modern world now, we are used to synthesize food and all those things. And I believe this one has brought a lot of challenges to us. But those people living in the olden days, they sustain on this thing because it contains calcium. And that is why you can see those old people. They are strong, they have strong bone. And also, the, it has high content of lipid and also protein and carbohydrate. Carbohydrate is about 20 something percent and the uh, lipids is about 11 percent and protein is about 39 percent. Before the seed becomes a condiment for preparation of delicacies, it goes through a series of processes which is locally done in most villages in Africa. From harvesting the seed from the farmland to the final packaging, it sure provides empowerment for the workers which if well harnessed, can be mechanically done to broaden the scope. Halima Ibrahim is a student of a tertiary institution who helps her family to process locust beans, thereby empowering herself. She takes us through various stages in Haviele community in Isako West local government of Edo State. This is how they pluck it directly from the bush. So after plucking it from the bush, you see it will look like this. This is how it will look like. Here are some that we, that we break before. So after breaking them from this process, you take them to the river to wash them. From the harvesting stage to cleaning, cooking, pounding and sieving off of the dirt before drying in a local oven for about two to three days. Different sieves are used at different stages because of the peculiarity of their functions. So we'll buy it from Jetsu, then we'll bring it home. We have to pound it. After pounding it, we... we remove the dirt then we cook it for like five or six hours so after it gets done the next day we have to start washing it so we we'll pound it before washing then after washing it we start picking it then when we are done with the picking we you know we we'll pick it twice anyway so we have to repound it and pick it again because the dirt is much. We have to make sure the every single uba is very neat. There is something we put it and we call it atete. We put it there and we put it on heat, which is aza. So after putting it there for like two days, we removed it, and it's ready for for sale or to eat. Then before eating, you have to mix it with salt very well so that it won't get spoiled on time. And we we'll put um, this, what we call elu, it has native shock, for it to blend together and somehow gum. 
That is why we put the, the native shock. Expert says the locust beans has several medicinal values unknown to a lot of people. If you want to use the management of condition, you can ferment it. You understand? And when the fermented one is useful in management of high blood pressure and it can control the cholesterol in the body. When we look at what those people in the rural areas have been, if you go and do their tests, you can't find all these things there because these are the things they are used to. And also, you can use the water extract to manage brain diabetes because studies have been shown that it reduces blood sugar. The packaging of this special condiment is presently mostly done in a local way, which can also be refined to be a more mechanical form, particularly with a view for exports to add to our foreign exchange proceeds. If the government can go and let us do more research on our medicinal plants and our economy plants, we can export most of those things. All, that, all we need to do is to improve them and package them. How best can we use low-cost beans? It's always good to use it when you are cooking, your are away do, your are yela, you are born, uh, and vegetables. So I put it in the vegetable and in our father's sauce. I use it for vegetables, sometimes for my stew, for MC soup. You can eat it raw, as they do in Malaysia and Indonesia. In those Asian countries, they eat them raw, even with the pods. Then you can use it in cooking vegetable, cooking soup. I remember when I was younger, I used to eat it. I didn't even know. I didn't even. But the point is that later on, I got to know that it's good for the sight. Are you a youth without a job and still thinking of that white collar job? Emulate Halima, who has embraced the calling and a career in the processing and sales of locust beans or any other agricultural products or vocational skills.